guys welcome to another video i don't know if i should call this a weekend vlog but today is friday and i'm super super excited to be sharing my brand new camera with you guys this is the canon powershot g7x mark ii I've been eyeing this camera for like a long, long time. I want to say about a year now or so. I typically use my Canon T6i to do like sit down videos, wash day videos. I love it. I've had it for over, I want to say maybe five to seven years now. And I haven't purchased any equipment since then. And honestly, the main reason why I purchased this was because I take a lot of video. I take videos of the kids, a lot of photos and I do reels and all of that stuff. It just takes up a lot of space in my phone. Mind you, I do have a 256 gigabyte phone as well. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more stingy with my storage. I'm like, you know what? Let me just purchase a separate camera. I'm really excited. I'm gonna unbox this right now. And I also have some accessories. I'll probably open that up um, as well. So let's see what's inside. So I got this pouch. This is from Amazon. It's a compact camera pouch just to keep the camera nice and safe. And this is what it looks like. So that is the front. And then you can open that up and just store the camera inside. Actually, wait, let me see if this actually fits. Yep, fits perfect. Oh, this is cute. And then up here you can put your memory cards and stuff like that inside. So this will keep the lens and um, the back display nice and safe. And then I also got this Manfrotto um, mini tripod. So I got this from Amazon. So this was something that I figured I would need just to, you know, bring the camera around. Instead of holding it in my hand, I could use this instead. And then also you can just, you know, put it on top of the table or wherever you are and record. This is what I picked up. And of course, a memory card. So this is a 128 gig SanDisk. Um, and this will be perfect for obviously storing photos and videos, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna open up the tripod first just to see what it looks like. So yeah guys, this is what it looks like. I think it's really, really cute. I just feel like an official vlogger just holding the camera like this. So um, yeah, it feels really sturdy. It feels very secure. It looks good. I'm happy. Yeah, so that's it for the camera, you guys, and the tripod. Um, so far, so good, I'm loving it. And obviously I'm gonna have to play around with the settings just to make sure it's to my liking. But yeah, so far, so good. I'll see you guys in a bit. Count your cards, pick it up, count it. Make sure you have seven. Come on, please be good. Oh my.
Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I'm recording right now with the Canon G7X and I love the quality. It looks super, super good. It looks really, really nice. And I fiddled around with the settings a little bit, watched a couple YouTube videos just to figure out what I like. And I think so far this looks good. Um, I'm just really happy. So the main purpose of this camera obviously is for, you know, content, reels, shorts, vlogs maybe even we'll see but um yeah i'm loving it so i'm rocking my headband wig right now because i don't want to do my hair i'm about uh, maybe eight weeks post relaxer so not really interested in doing my hair right now so i got some errands to run today i gotta go to sephora i need a new foundation the foundation i'm wearing right now i don't like it this is maybelline i want to say but i always use the um what is it oh my goodness born this way born this way in the color chai that's like my favorite the matte version so it's perfect for summer because you don't want to be looking oily and all that but um yeah so i need to get a new foundation i need to get another brow pencil mascara just some simple things i actually have to remember it that way i don't go buck wild in sephora because i normally always always do and then i'm gonna hit up the beauty supply store so i need to get some moisturizers and things like that i haven't been to the beauty supply store since maybe february or so so i typically go maybe a couple times in the year maybe three to four times in the year and that's good for me so this pimple here is driving me nuts and i also have one here so if these two are gone your girl's happy but they're here and i don't know how long they're gonna stay but they need to go so yeah this headband wig uh, you guys have seen it i've done a video on this um last year late last year um if you haven't seen it go check it out but yeah this is like my go-to when i don't want to do my hair just throw it on and go but yeah i'm gonna do those things and bring you guys along with me so let's go All right guys, we're heading into the beauty supply store and hopefully I just stick to what I need. So much moisture. Please be here, please be here. Yes! It is here. Okay, let me stock up because you're gonna be needing a lot of those. Let's get four. Okay, I want to pick up this silicone mix, bamboo. Escrow is over here. So let's grab. How many, Izzy? Uh, four. Four. Same, same amount. Okay, true. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else. Do I have Aphigy? I think I have Aphigy already. I don't think I need that. Beauty supply store is empty. Just the way I love it. Don't like a crowd. That's just me though don't like the crowd just me and my products and my thoughts all oh, is the 4c clarifying shampoo I don't know if I should get it I have enough clarifying shampoo no nope. okay no more we're not doing that
we're done. Let's go. Everything? Yeah. Oh. Can I hold it? You want to hold it? Okay. Yeah. Thank you for helping mommy. All right, so I'm going to share with you guys what I got from Sephora because I did get some new goodies and I'm really excited to try them out. All right, so first off, I got my foundation. So I restocked the uh, Too Faced Born This Way um, matte foundation. This is in the color Chai. So this is like my go-to. I use this like on a daily basis. Next up, I got my uh, Benefit Brow uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So I use this to draw in my eyebrows. Love this. It glides on really, really nice. And I got the shade Warm Black number five warm black so restocked on that and then i got two mascaras so the first one here this is bts voluptuous volume from too faced really really like this and then i picked up the mary beauty lengthening um tubing mascara so this is their clean lash um i love merit beauty products and i did a video on my channel um, using all merit beauty and this one i really love so i just restocked on that mascara and it's something that i use like on a daily basis it's not waterproof it comes off easy it lengthens your lashes perfectly it just gives that nice natural look so that's like my go-to and then i picked up something new um this is the buxom plumping lip polish oh shoot okay i did not read this it says it plumps your lips all right my lips don't need to be fuller than they are right now, but I got the shade Dolly. So I seen Octavia B use this um, and it looks really nice on her lips. So I figured I would try this out. So that's something new. And then of course I got some skincare. So I'm trying to just level up in my skincare journey. My skin has been going through it lately. So um, I've been using different cleansers and just trying to see what works for me. And lately I've been using the Youth to the People green tea and spinach cleanser. I like it, but at the same time, I feel like it's not cleaning my face properly because when I go to tone and I look at the pad, like I still see oil and dirt on the pad. So, and that could be why I'm having some breakouts. Maybe my face is not really being cleansed properly or fully. So I'm like, you know what? Let me try something different. I picked up the Inky List. I don't know if you guys can see that. So Inky List, this is the uh, Sally Cyclic, can't say this word. Sally Cyclic Acid um, Cleanser. So this will help with blemish prone oily skin. And that's exactly what I have. I have like combination oily skin. A little bit of dryness down here, but it's really oily like up here. Hopefully this will help. And it was pretty affordable. I want to say it was... Where are you? I want to say, yeah, it was under $15. So it's $12.59. Actually, no. That's with my discount. So it's $13.99. Can't beat that price. So let's see if it works. And it cleans my face properly because Lord knows I need it. And then I picked up some retinol from the same brand. So this one is for my face. Um, this is for normal skin. Um, it helps to reduce wrinkles without irritation because I have sensitive skin. And typically when I apply a lot of products, I feel like a burning sensation and that's no fun <laughs> and then i picked up the retinal eye cream so this is obviously for signs of aging and helping to reduce fine lines and wrinkles if you're over the age of 25 you need to be using some kind of retinal i just got the memo recently so your girl's on it and i also got the brazilian bum bum cream i've been hearing a lot about this i got the smaller version just in case i don't like it but i heard it smells amazing um and it just really moisturizes the skin so this is something new that i'm excited to try and hopefully it smells good so that's it from sephora i got a little bit of makeup a little bit of skincare so i'm happy so here is everything from the beauty supply store so i just restocked mainly my moisturizers my husband my son myself my daughter we all kind of use the same moisturizers so i have to buy everything in bulk so i got a lot of s curl 
so I got about four bottles of escrow I hate to run out of these things like I just I don't know if anyone else is like me but I don't like to run out of my favorite staple products I like to stock up I have shelving and everything ready for all my products so space is not an issue and then I got the Talia Widget protective mist modifier this I use sometimes in my hair like in my roots it's really really good it's basically like a substitute for s curl but it has no silicones in it and then of course i got my as i am so much moisture had to restock these last time i was at the beauty supply store they had absolutely none so everyone seems to be buying these out and then i use this on my daughter and myself it works wonders for relaxed hair as well as natural hair so had to restock on these and then i picked up some um, manuka honey and merfero oil these are um, moisturizing deep conditioners. So I use this on my daughter's hair and sometimes in my hair as well. Love, love, love these. And then I picked up this wig spray, wig grip spray from ORS. I kind of want to use this on my lace fronts. I think I may get a few for fall. So why not use something that's a little bit more on the healthy hair care side because it does have castor oil and also olive oil. So I picked this up. And last but not least, I got myself something that I've been seeing a lot lately online, on Instagram, on YouTube here. And I'm like, you know what, let me try this out. And you guys know I absolutely love Care Care Humecto, but it is running low. I have about maybe this much left in the tub. So I'm like, okay, it's a good time for me to try a different moisturizing deep conditioner. And of course I had to pick up the silicone mix bamboo. So I've been seeing this like all over. Some relaxed ladies have been raving about this deep conditioner. It is a protein-free, moisturizing deep conditioner. I only saw, I want to say, this and another jar on the shelf. So you know when there's a little bit of something, you know it's a good thing. So I picked up this. Doesn't make sense for me to get the smaller jar. I think it was 8 ounce. And then there was like a 16 ounce. So I'm like, you know what, let me just get the bigger tub. I love big tubs. I love the packaging. It does smell pretty good it's like a nice orange thick consistency so i'm really excited to try this out so this is something new everything else is basically restock as well as the um the wig grip spray all right guys so that is it where my haul is concerned sephora beauty supply store everything is done i'm happy i don't think i need anything else so i'm gonna clean up and put the products on my shelves that way everything is nice and neat and i'll see you guys later Hey guys, happy Sunday. So it is wash day and I just finished shampooing my hair with the Care Care Hydrating and Detangling Shampoo. You know I absolutely love and adore it. And right now I'm deep conditioning with my silicone mix. So I have my plastic caps on, hair is twisted up, and I was too excited to not try the deep conditioner out, although I, I just got it. <laughs> I had to try it out so i have a really good feeling about it i hope it works and i hope my hair responds well to it we will see so i'm gonna go under the hooded dryer for about 25 to 30 minutes or so and then i will rinse do my leave-ins my usual scarf method all that good stuff and then i'll be done Alright guys, so I'm back. I just finished blow drying my hair on Cool Air. I'm actually heading out with the hub, so I gotta be very, very quick. But um, so far, so good. I'm loving the silicone mix. My hair feels extremely soft and fluffy. It feels 
extremely moisturized it feels hydrated like you know when a conditioner is really good when you don't have to put a leave-in conditioner in your hair i'm happy with the way my hair looks and feels and it smells pretty good too so my plan is to continue using the silicone mix bamboo just to see how my hair responds to it i'll definitely do like a full review for you guys but for right now i'm really impressed overall very successful wash day so i'm going to end off the vlog now and um be sure to subscribe if you haven't thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video